Hey guys, so I just got back from the Petco sale and grabbed a couple of tanks. I was setting them up and uh, after finishing setting them up, I was extremely tired. And I was laying down and I saw these catfish interlock. It looks like they were fighting each other. I had no idea what they were doing. So after they released, they spread like 20 eggs. So what I did was I, I sucked it out with the hose and I put it in a tumbler and I'll show it to you later. I think they're still doing it. So I ran, ran out to Home Depot to go get some supplies. So this is where I was. I was literally watching Ori's eight hour stream um, from Christmas and uh, that's, where I, that's when I saw the catfish doing their thing. And I thought to myself, if I was Cory, what would I do? So, put on the thinking cap, went straight to Home Depot, not before I made a stop first. Let me show you what I got. I stopped by Home Depot to grab a crate and some tacos, because that's what Cory would do, right? Now, Home Depot only sells this, um, just like this, this is how big it is, and for 13 bucks. So I'm gonna have to cut it myself. I have no idea how I'm gonna cut this thing, maybe with the saw. But it's like 8 o'clock at night. I think I could do it in the garage. Um, now these things, they're technically used to guard uh, fluorescent lights. Um, you'll see them in offices and, and such. So if you have some lying around, then great. But if not, you grab a Home Depot for 13 bucks. So let's measure this thing out and get to cutting. Now, as far as my knowledge goes, there's only two ways to protect these eggs from the parents eating them. It's the marble trap. They come in up from the top over there. They do their little sprawling thing and they spread the eggs and the eggs fall in between the marbles where they can't get to them. Number two is the egg crate method. You levitate the egg crate, make sure none of them can fit in there had to put two pieces for them because they can actually fit inside those little squares. Now the petrocolas they can't, but the lucipinus, they definitely can. So I got both these methods going in hopes to catch some eggs. Actually, let's take a look at the other tanks. See, I had three tanks yesterday. Now I have four pet coal sale. I put the guppies in there. Um, I believe, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna put the convicts in there. Let them do their thing so um, the tank downstairs could have a little break from all the monstrosity that's breeding convicts. Um, my other tank, let's walk over here. Say hello to these guys. Got more general care. Love it. I had a Petco um, gift card, so used it on medicine. And uh, Corey. Okay, uh, this is the 20 gallon. I had to clear some space, but uh, this is what it looks like. It's gonna be a bare bottom. Um, I have substrate, don't think I don't have substrate because I have that, and I have ADA, um, ADA Amazonia. I just choose to do bare bottom because it's a lot easier to clean. Um, I believe I wanna put the goldfish in here for the time being until I can find them a new home. Uh, and so I can use their tank to house my fancy plecos, my leopard frogs, and snowballs. Um, oh yeah. So here is the eggs I captured. You're not going to be able to see them, that's for sure. They're too tiny. Hopefully they'll make it. Have them in a little contraption here. And uh, I guess that's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and see what I have in store in the future. This should be a lot of fun.
Thanks, guys.